Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how we can create a CDS view with a parameter. Okay, so how can we build it? So I have already built this. So what I'm going to do is uh, we are going to copy paste and I'll mention this in the video and we are going to copy paste and then we are going to add some more so that you know copy paste and edit will work properly. So what we are going to do the requirement is to get uh, the views get get all the data that has uh, get all the POs that have a goods receipt done and it's and I can query it based on PORG and uh, and in the output I will get the PO number PO line I'll get the GR number the fiscal year the total amount which is grouped by the 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 invoice the PO number and all those fields and also I'll get the vendor number as well as the vendor name okay so this is my requirement so let let me build it so first I'll just do call control C and then I'll, I'll add some more features in it so I'll go to create new I'll click go to others and here I go to data definition here I put my my class Okay, DMP, so uh, that's my uh, package. And now here I will give uh, a parameter, so PAR1, CDS. So I can give CDS par parameter one. Okay, that's the uh, CDS with parameters. Okay, and it would be fun. So now I'll go to click finish. And the first thing I'll give is, I'll give a name here, ZSD11, CDS, Para2, okay. And here, from here, I'll change this. I have as, I'll take this with parameters. And now you can see, this is define this. Type cannot be converted to view long text, okay. Uh, with parameters this let me see what's the problem define view is there I'll just put this and here I'll activate it and what's the problem here DDA was not activated and we'll click on this we'll click on control We'll see what's the problem. Defined as view. Okay, so this has been defined as view. So what I'm going to do is we'll change it to three and we'll activate this. Let's see. This is green to return green. So now once this is already green, that means it's activated. So this is the code that is activated. And then we'll, now I'll just execute and I'll put 1010. 10, and here is whatever I am getting. Okay. So now here I'll add some flavor to it. Okay. And this is as this. And here I didn't give, I have to give another field okay so what i'm going to do this if we if we notice here if i execute it shows everything that it also shows me so first of all it it shows me everything also the gr as well as the invoice number which i really don't want okay so i will change it so what i'm going to do is here i'm going to change it and add another where clause okay so where is the where clause this is the clause close this and here i'll put and we get it's ekb dot v gap which tells me that this would be only goods receipt okay so here you can see 
now I'll activate it okay and here another thing we could do here is first let's execute it now f8 and I put 10 10 now here you see all these numbers are gr before they were 5 1 numbers coming also so this is good now what we are going to do is we are going to add another field uh, probably we want ekko dot what more we can do uh, i will put ekorg as prg and we will activate this so let's see prg uh, as prg and i didn't put this this thing now it's still complaining okay i think i have to do group by uh, ekko.ekorg comma and uh, is that the thing yes control f3 and here you can see the green theme so that means it's get trying to get activated when it's activated this will stop and it's activated now perfect now what we are going to do is we are going to put 10 10 and this is the cds views that we see here we have all the details now we'll add another flavor probably uh, hmm. what flavor we can add okay let's based on the data we'll try to add a flavor okay so we'll put lifner as a parameter also let's see it parameters this and uh, with parameters this well i have to do comma uh listener uh, comma listener okay and we'll see whether this work so i did it okay it gives me an error what's the error now Uh, the error was is not used. That's fine. With no matches, this okay. That's fine. What we are going to do is we are going to put uh, Lifnar as Lifnar, and here um, group by parameters ekqrg and ekq dot lifnar equals parameters lifnar and we will see probably i need to change the name okay so it says about log uh, let me do one thing. I'll just select this and get a F1 help parameter list. How it looks. So they put P unit. Okay. P distance S underscore distance. Okay. Okay. That's fine. So what I'm going to do is put P dot P dot e -K -R -G. And we'll see p dot kkrg, and I'll put p this and now it's activated, still activating. See, it's now activated. So always make these parameters like above. We used to do p here, also follow that. And now what I'm going to do is first I'll get some data here just to make sure I'll copy this control one. Can I copy control C? Oops, I don't know. Let's see. And we are going to execute here. And now here I'll put 10 10 and the lift now. I put oops, there's a lot. The whole thing get called got copied. So I really want this. 
and click OK. So here you can see only that data comes. Okay. So that's wonderful. We got the data you wanted. And if here, probably if I did this one, and I'll pop probably, how can I copy just this control Y? Does control Y work? God knows. Well, we'll execute it again and we will try to get some more data, but it's working. 10 10. Now, here I'll get oh, this. this uh, I'll copy paste. Uh, not everything is like the GUI. So now I'll execute, click OK, and boom, you see. So this way you can use the parameter list. Pretty easy, pretty simple. You can use it and just make it, make uh, this thing that you put the parameter as B. One thing I would like to show very much important is when you go inside SAP. So suppose I'm going inside SAP and I go SE11. Okay. And I put this one as the database table. So this is ADT. This for CDS view entries. So let's see. I'll put this one display here if you see i will not be able to see this since it has parameters i cannot see in se16 or something okay so that's one thing it cannot do since it has a parameter that's what this uh, the difference i saw so otherwise it's the same so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and if you like it share and subscribe to it and have a great day